Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Rimworld Alpha 14. So we continue to slowly make our living over here. Last episode we got a trader ship, it's still actually around in orbit currently. We'll try to address it again shortly, we just need some more stuff from here. You know, our messy room. To be holding the here, just to be sold. We're also going to be selling this mega screen TV and things. We got a telescope where people can have fun at. It'll be glorious. Rat is still terribly ill, but honestly, uh, whatever. That's fine, I guess. Oh yeah, right, we also had some buffalo show up, so we're going to be shooting them, preferably in the face. Wow. It's very risky hunting here. But we did just bring four buffalo home. That's good. Yeah, we've got three decent butchers by now. We're gonna get a lot of food from that, which is good because once again, I forgot to farm and we are now stuck all winter without any farming. I can't recommend it. We also got Jamie back, by the way. For those of you who didn't see it earlier. Jamie's the person we removed his bionic arm from and then let him go. And then he instantly came back to lose his right arm. <laughs> it's it's a beautiful story, really. Of love and friendship. How's your mood? You are still very terrible. You're getting a little better though. Soon you won't be sick. Uncle's still dead. Friend is still dead. In darkness will be fixed at some point. Clothing will be fixed at some point. Slept in the cold. We'll be fixing that soon as well. I want to put a roof over... Why do I say roof? No, I don't want to put a uh, temperature thing in here yet. We're gonna start building vents, though. I'll get some vents over here. Just, you know, make sure that there's a bit of uh, through flow of air. Now, that will also happen when they open the doors and such, but as it stands... Ah, uh, they've left. That's too bad, I would've loved to sell them more stuff, although I don't know what they would've bought. Got a lot of stuff here that's just lying here now. Presumably because we don't have the space for it right now. Which is arguably fair enough. We also have a bunch of mechanoid bodies in here starting to pile up slowly. We should do something about that at some point. I think most importantly of all, we might have to put a, uh, a wind turbine down somewhere. We might place one over here actually. Because this area is mostly clear. Eh, we'll put it uh, over there. Why not? A psychic sooth. Every colonist of the female gender wins, uh, smiles in contentment. I like that one. Nothing wrong with that. NG. What's your construction like? Still 18. You're going to need to build me some vents. Like straight up. Get busy building, or get busy uh, moving out, I guess. It's minus 20 in here, Jesus. Rats come berserk, very joy deprived. Oh my god. Is this gonna be a thing again, Marat? We never get a male soothing. That's what Marat needs. Please don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. How are you? The, the immunity, the other one's gone away already, so that's good. Just a bunch of cracks. Who do you dislike most? We've got Lumi over here. There's a zero. We've got a minus 16. Croc dislike... You dislike Croc. You know what? We'll, yeah, get Croc to rescue. Ooh, Blitz, you're doing some building. That's good. You know, help out. Do your part. I approve. Pretty soon we'll be able to get rid of this uh, moisture pump. Severe illness on Kimio. Kimmy? 
Go ahead and treat him. I don't like this, this the look of a major infection. 68%. Uh, let's quickly remove the left eye, I guess. Oh yeah, right, we don't have any herbals. You know what? Fine, for this instant we'll upgrade you then. Prioritize, up, uh, prioritize getting the eye out before he dies. Lumi is doing some astronomy. That's a uh, need. Gives a bit more study to I think. Yeah. Although it doesn't explicitly really say that it's that. Ooh, bionic eye, successful, excellent. You're not gonna get any more now. Ha! Huh. That's the only good medicine you'll see in your lifetime. Of course, now, now, now that he's lacking an eye, I feel a lot better about sending them out suddenly. Ha 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 ha. It's almost like I planned this. Almost. Rat, how are you doing? Yeah, you're getting treatment. Davos up to level 9. Sweet. The thing we need now is bionicle legs and such, you know? Get people moving faster. That way they'll be more effective at doing things. How long do you need? Three days, ugh. That's gonna be a long time. This guy still needs five days. You need four. Lumi Tycho both healed. I can't wait to actually get some like heat going on in here. That would be great. Uh, we'll mine these rocks out because why not? I also want to put uh, security. Put some IEDs there. You know, make it a minefield. Try and dissuade them from coming this way. Also, we're gonna probably blow our people up at some point. Like, we're just gonna have to pray that they're lucky. Uh, we're gonna pour some more concrete here. There we go. Blitz is building the wind power turbine. Now, how do we connect it up is the question. Probably the long route. We can't place it over Marsh. Oh boy. This is gonna look so freaking ugly. There we go. That is the ugliest way of doing things ever. But at least we have a wind turbine here. You know, it's sort of out of the direct, out of the way of direct fire and everything. It might, uh, at some point in the future, help us with power generation. It also might very well not. I don't want to put any wind turbines in here, as this might very well come in the firing line at some point. We've got three explosive IEDs here now. Let's hope we won't trigger them. Uh, security, security. You can start these. As you know, they're not in the middle anymore. One, two, three, four. We'll make that one just longer like that. We'll get rid of that one and then... Add a bit more floor. Yeah, add floors over there. Alright, fair enough. Power lines are being made, that's good. I really need you to prioritize those for me. Let's get all the steel that you can. We need those power lines ASAP. Like, it's it's actually blowing now. Like, we're getting 2,000 watts from here, but they're not connected. Like, you've got to be kidding me. Angie, you went really far to get that. Are you okay? We need them built now. There's like 3,000 watts of power here, and I'm like, no! Give it to me! But we're not getting any. Now, a reasonable thing would be to suggest, like, mining all the way in here. I will probably do that at some point. But I don't want to expose this area too much. Like, 
This is supposed to be not attack because it's an easy side door into our base rather than our defenses. As you can probably well imagine. So I'm trying to avoid using that, so this is going to be like a backup way. Although, it's a bit ironic how we're dragging power cables directly over our friend's place where he's resting. You could say it's his resting place. Oh, Tycho, I need you quickly. Like, just while it's still windy outside, just finish these power lines for me, please. Oh, you're going to be annoying, aren't you? Please finish them. Oh, Marat's doing it now. Okay, thank you. You can go now. Sweet, it's now connected up to the uh, to the net. We actually have enough power now. Cargo pods. Synth thread. And a small area is revealed, literally like two two things. Actually, while you're there, Marat, you might as well mine it. See how we revealed like two tiles? Excellent. That's what we work here for. Mine that one out. We're not gonna build a roof there, we don't need it. Uh, clear built roof area. Oh! Hi. That's not a bad thing, I, I suppose. Please just go to bed. Like we've had enough for now. I do wanna cut these trees down though. He's the ones ready to harvest. That's good. I like it. Well, there we go. We now have a bit more energy generation. If we're lucky. At the very least, it'll help mitigate losses. You know, even if the wind's blowing at like one-fifth of maximum power, we're still getting power. So that's very beneficial to us. I'd say. Yeah, we're getting some wood as well. We're gonna build a lot of, like, granite walls over here, just to make sure, you know, they don't accidentally go over here, that would be bad. Alternatively, we could cut, like, a bunch of this mountain out. And have, like, a second wind turbine just... ...positioned over here, like that. Check, we'd have to go, like... There, that'd, that'd be feasible. That'd be really feasible. Uh, zone. Mine, and then just like over there. Another wind turbine, another wind turbine, and no, we need one more. Totally doable. Get rid of these trees, excellent. Nothing's in the way here. I didn't want to put them over here, like, we want to grow some trees over here safely, so we can use wood for things. But yeah, we're totally going to dig a farm, uh, another wind generator spot there. Sure. Now we've got it backed up by two lines, so that is very helpful, just in case something breaks, you know. Better safe than sorry, especially with power. Oh, this, that, that wind is going to be so helpful. Should have done that a long time ago. I tend to put things like that in the back burner for no good reason. We should also get rid of these collapsed rocks at some point. We'll put granite walls over here just to make it look thematic and such. We'll start like clearing this part. Poor mood on Marat. Yeah, that's gonna be there for a while. So I'm not too surprised by that one. Tricky here. That's cool. Uh, we'll start building the second wind turbine here. Better to do it bright and early. Now that should hopefully keep the roof up and prevent it from collapsing again. Beltran is wandering around. He's feeling terrible. Expand no roof area. Just no roof over there. Spent 
Yeah, we can't really expand this any further either, so there's not gonna be much solar power here. We could have built it like one down to get like that extra tile. I just wanna keep this secure just so they don't start meleeing it or anything. I feel like that makes sense, right? Well, all right, you can go home. And let Engie do it. There we go. Engie is best. We're not getting rid of some of the collapsed rocks. Did it get... No, it shouldn't have gotten rid of the floor. But yeah, you can see collapsed rocks really hard to mine, so that's why you generally don't want it. Thankfully, there was like the one spot where there wasn't a cryo sleep casket. Otherwise, we would have probably lost one. That would have been bad. Oh, Beltran. Should we let Jamie go? We'll strip Jamie, then we'll let him go. Bye, Jamie. See you later. Don't trigger the traps on your way out. You know, don't forget to remember where they are. <laughs> He's gonna be so dead next time he shows up. Maybe we just, like, build that one place. Jolly Shield. Oh, Beltran. <sighs> Locked by roof. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. There we go. We have him connected up just to, just to get that extra little drop of en electricity that we couldn't get otherwise. We could, like, dig out the area over here and just cause it to cave in. Uh, got an even better idea, though. We're gonna put a solar panel over here! Yes! Beautiful! We're gonna get so much energy. It'd be great. And then we might put a door here. And then we'll, like, wall this off with a ton of granite to try and keep ourselves from being attacked there. Because it's technically a weak spot. Ooh, yay, this expanded further. I don't think we need any more now. Yeah, deconstruct you. That's gonna save some electricity. And then zone, growing zone, yay. And wind's picking up, look at that, wow. You are very blocked by the roof, Jesus. Hyperthermia on Beltran. That's why you shouldn't strip butt naked, buddy. Dude, it's not my fault you're cold. Yeah, that, the wind turbines really are helping a lot. I love it. Should have really done that a long time ago. Beltran, you are bloody naked now. For crying out loud, dude. There's a lynx over there. Shoot it. No, Chelsea. It's fine. Chelsea's... Ch Chelsea's alive. Can't say the same for the Lynx. Oh, Beltran. Please don't do this. You're already... freezing. Well, at least he didn't lose anything. Rescue him. We killed the Lynx. That's good. That's why you ought to be careful of predators. Also, I didn't know we had a second person available, so I just got Kai to do it, but then... Like, in the end, we didn't get him into... Oh dear, it's minus 23 in here. We need a fire. Or, even better, just build a heater. I know it's still outside and everything, but bloody hell. There, we'll build a temporary wall to keep everything inside. Hypothermia is still going up. Could also use an auto door there. Uh, we're gonna put a temporary... Uh, just screw it, put a steel door there. I don't care.
We need to keep him alive, that's what we need. Crux medicine is going up nicely, that's good. Uh, expand roof area. There in general. Thank you, it's finally still unroofed in there. Of course it is, of course. We're not good at keeping people alive here. Structure. Granite. Steel door. It's so high. Like, he, he might die. Probably not if we act quick enough here. Which we probably will, let's be real. There we go, now someone needs to hold these frag grenades out of there. And then he'll be fine. Jesus Christ. Copy this into that, that into there. There we go, now someone, yes, thank you. Now the temperature here should be going up. 98% though. What's your minimum comfortable temperature? Uh, 12. Very far below that and you'll die. Uh, could we... Carry him to a crypt to sleep casket? No, I don't want to do that. I want to put some clothes on him. You, you're carrying a parka. Just give it to him. This seems so dumb. We can't put clothing on people. He's all tucked in and everything. He should be fine. Who even he wouldn't hear is the question. We'll put like a special small torch there, I guess. What is it? Furniture, torch lamp. We don't have enough stored. Um, yeah, we don't have to go all the way over there. Why didn't you just put clo you keep your clothing on, you idiot? <sighs> Honestly, if he dies, so be it. I don't really care that much. We have enough other people around by now. I'm gonna make a steel door here. We're gonna make another solar generator over here. That'll be great. Expand no roof area over there. Um, how do we... Like, there's an overhead mountain here, sadly. Otherwise, we'd have a very easy time trying to get rid of all that. We're gonna build a solar generator there, because why the hell not, obviously. Torch lamp. Cancel it. Uh, we'll need a second heater in here. We're trying to fill a giant hallway. With only two heaters, that's not gonna work. Let's building the door there, so we now have easy access in and out the base. Through there. We, I'm, I'm gonna block that off eventually. Or we could make it a well-defended place. With mines and everything. Actually, probably not mines. But we could leave this open. Built like heavy granite walls. We'll get like a granite block door over here and there as like a. Uh, and then a too thick wall or something? That's marble. No, that would actually interfere. So we'll just wall it off like that. There we go. That's going to be our secret base entrance. <laughs> we could place traps here, but obviously at a risk of triggering on our own people. I don't want to trigger on our own people. That sounds horrifying. Wind turbine. We're barely losing power because of them. It's great. These things don't have power yet. It would be nice to have a heater up here that's actually connected, so... Probably a good idea to link all this up now. 
I'm starting to run low on food. Terrible moods. Belcher and a Marat. Oh, he lived, so that's good. Yeah, we're gonna start hunting some predators. Oh yeah, there was a flash storm, wasn't there? Toxic fallout! A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly sickened by the toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It can last a few days, it can last a month, who the hell knows? That's bad! That's really bad! I'm starting to think we might want to put a, uh, a sun lamp down. Or just some general lamps. While I was sewing in here. And then we'll start roofing this, I guess? It's gonna be hard to try and roof all of that. Actually, never mind. We'll try and, like, roof certain places here, but... If we don't, like, divide this in multiple rooms, it's gonna be very hard to actually use all this soil, even during the winter, to successfully farm. Yeah, we're gonna be trying that now, because obviously we're... We're left with little choice. They're basically t telling us like, hey, either get your shit together or you're gonna die. You don't have a lot of food and there's toxic fallout limiting the wildlife you'll be able to hunt for a while. Hunt. Hunt. They'll die of toxic... Uh, they'll die of, like, fallout at some point. And I want to get them now, you know? I want to get them bagged, killed. Everything. This is gonna be so annoying. Toxic fallout's really bad if you're not properly prepared. And I don't think we're properly prepared right now. Nobody's using that bed. Why? Why? A group of travelers passing by. Careful, ye people. Here be pollution. Beltran's fully healed. Huh. Timberwolf Revenge. Grr. Blitz got this. Come on, Blitz. Yeah, he's got toxic buildup already. So do you, of course. Oh, watch out for the mines. Lovely. Good job. Level 5's not bad. Yeah, there's gonna be all sorts of, like, hard snow outside now. Limiting our movement range. Also, sieges should be fun when people come to, like, Hey, we're gonna siege you. Oh no. Suddenly there's toxic fallout and everything. Yep, that is... NG getting into some trouble. Damn it, NG! I was expecting better of you. Be careful. Please? Oh, thank god. You're playing a dangerous game, Angie. All the corpse, then go back to medical. Speaking of which, we should have you build medical. Oh, dear. Yeah, we'll, we'll risk building a hospital bed now. Muffalo revenge. And eh, Muffalo's dead by the look of things. Ooh. Oh crap! Oh crap! They're all pissed! This might actually work out for us in a strange way. Quickly! Mobilize! Mobilize! Jesus Christ! Freaking Muffalo, man! The Muffalo! Dead. Dead. Massive amounts of death. They're all, they're all, they all seem to be going for Davo right now. Unlimited Daka! Yeah, Kimi got caught in the crossfire. That's good. Right. 
We actually got out of that really well. Good shooting practice too. 13. Nearly 14. Halfway to 14. 7. 7. Though you're not like good at it, so that's okay. I might pull Kimi off the front line at some point. Like she's her best doctor and useful in a fight or in a snap, but... I can groan. Male gender, yay! So Murat's gonna break again. Such is life, eh, Murat? At least our batteries are filling up with power. Fairly consistently now. Uh, Croc, ten to Kimmy. Medicine 8, you're getting there, Croc. That's good. Bravo, dude. You're not gonna tend to Engie though. I wanna have Kimmy do that. You know, she's a professional, Engie needs it a bit more. Also, someone needs to build a solar generator over there at some point. Block by roof, block by nothing. Aha. Kimmy will be fine, Engie, same. Just take some time. Right, anything else we really need? Not really. Getting late. We don't have any wind right now. Could go for the guys there, but that's way too far. We can't get that responsibly. Like this one in really unfortunate places, unless there's one in the wall somewhere, which I highly doubt. I think it's time to start digging over here. And we're also going to put another high-tech research bench in here. Because why not? We'll get rid of this bench. We'll make this like a storage, I guess? We might as well. Should be undeep enough that nobody spawns there. Oh boy, this will be fun. Uh, marble? Marble! Yes. Terrible mood, like a lot of people are upset by that drone, yay! We need to watch out for like toxic buildup. If they go too far, they'll uh... They might have a chance to get dementia. Tycho is wandering around because insulted! Oh god, Tycho. Please behave. We're clearing snow to keep our people walking faster. Digging is happening, thankfully. Just not at the pace I'd like it to. We've got the solar generator, though. So that's good. A glitter world empath call, uh, named Hotaru Alex calls you from nearby. She's being chased by pirates. She's 72 years old. We don't know a whole lot about you. Uh, let me quickly check how long the episode is. Yeah, we're getting there. We'll accept, but that'll be in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video of RimWorld, do let me know by leaving a like down below. You want to leave a comment while you're down there. If you want to see more RimWorld and not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing. And as always, Till next time, have a good one folks.